let's move on to the fourth program which is to add an array of 16 bit numbers and store the result in internal ram okay so in this program we have an array okay we have an array here and this has many numbers stored in it okay what you have to do you have to pick up each number and add with uh, add it with the next one and so on till the end of the array and store that sum in a separate register okay so the, this will be the result so let's see how to um, approach this program and solve it in keel i'll give you a brief idea of what we are be uh, what we will be doing in this program so consider this array here we'll be taking um three uh, integers okay i mean the array will have three integers suppose that it's 1 2 and 3 what we'll be doing is we'll be adding these three integers and storing that in a separate register so since we are taking three integers we have to mention how many integers we are taking okay to keep the count of how many um sum we have performed okay initially i'll have one register here and i'll be picking up the first um element which is 1 and storing it in the uh storing it in this register okay in the next step i'll be taking this one and adding it with one which is already present here and storing the sum in one okay after i add the sum will be 1 plus 2 which is 3 whenever i add i'll decrement this value by one okay so this will become 2 now in the next one i'll pick up this element and add it with the um, previous element and store the result in the same register okay so this will become 3 plus 3 which is 6 and i'll decrement this value okay 2 will become 1 so since uh, we had performed two additions i should have taken here two so if you are performing a fourth addition also let's say four will be added with the result which is 6 plus 4 and that gives me 10 okay i'll be storing 10 here and i'll be decrementing the value of the counter as 0 when this counter reaches 0 at that time i should stop the um sum and i should transfer the result into a memory location why we are transferring the uh, result to memory location to see the result inside the uh, register okay if we don't transfer we will not be able to see the result directly through the register okay we have to transfer it here and i'll be demonstrating you in this experiment where uh, where can you search for the result okay so the result here will be stored in another register which is uh, 10 here okay the result is 10 Okay let's quickly recap what I will be doing firstly I'll be creating an array okay first step is to create an array and initialize okay initialize means I should load the data values in the array okay means all these values I'll be loading I'll be demonstrating you how you uh, how can you load the array uh, array values directly to the memory okay that's the first step then the second step is to pick up a number add it with the previous answer which you have here if it's the first number just load it if it's the second number add it with the previous one and store the result there itself and decrement the counter okay and um the third step is to um check if the counter has reached zero if it has reached zero at that time transfer this result into the memory location and then we will be seeing the result inside the memory location okay so let's uh, get started with the coding part initially i'll be giving a name then uh, the start keyword for marking the start of the program and first i'll be moving the uh, value which is in r1 see this is the counter value which is 3 so since i am adding um, four elements okay if you have initialized it as 3 we can add four elements okay because to add four elements we need three um, iterations then r1 will have the uh, counter value and then next we will have we'll have a register to store the address of the uh, beginning of array see inside the array when uh, i created an array here see each array will have the starting address right see this is the starting address of the array in hexadecimal i am taking the starting address as 4 followed by 7 zeros okay so in this address the first location will be stored and it's an array of integers so it will take four spaces for the next integer okay so next integer will be starting after four spaces so where it will be it will be at 4 then at last here 4 okay then 
the subsequent integer will be at 8 like that 4 4 we are adding the subsequent integers address values okay initially we are uh, loading the value which is stored in r3 into r4 okay this another register which uh, this is the register in which the first value of um, the array element will be stored see what is in r3 r3 has this address that means the first element is stored if i'm using the square brackets it's mean uh, it means the whatever is stored in this address that element should be transferred to r4 so in the first address whatever the element i store that should be transferred to r4 now what r4 has r4 has the first element okay first element of the array um, assume it is one okay so uh, one is stored in r4 now then i'll be using a loop to add the array elements before that i have to increment to go to the second position see i have taken the first element right then i have to uh, go to the next location how we'll go the next location of the element where it is stored plus 4 this address plus 4 will give me the uh, second, er uh, second elements location so i'll be adding 4 to r3 and storing the result in r3 so r3 is pointing to the second element now okay then i'll be loading the value of whatever is in r3 in r5 okay this means the second element value is uh, getting stored in r5 so second element assume it is 2 so r4 has 1 and r5 has 2 now i have to add these both values add r4 comma r5 okay then i have to um, after adding these values i'll be subtracting the counter value since i have added whenever i add what i will do i'll subtract the counter value okay by 1 after subtracting i have to compare if the counter has become 0 or not for that i'll be writing r1 comma hash 0 okay if it's 0 at that time i should end the loop if it's not 0 it will be branched again bne means branch if not equal since it's not equal see r, um, r1's value is 2 now so it's not equal to 0 so it will branch to loop again where is loop loop is here it will start again from here okay uh, when this loop ends at that time r4 will have the result see all values are uh, being added and stored at r4 so r4 will have the result right so what i will be doing is suppose that uh, the r4 value is here okay r4 has the result okay so suppose that the result is 10 r4 has the value 10 here okay and what i am doing here uh, what i am doing here is r6 i am storing this address okay so suppose that this is a register here okay and this has the address 100 okay what i am doing is i am uh, creating a register r6 and in that register i will be storing 100 just the difference is instead of 100 here we have a hexadecimal value okay so after that uh, what i will be doing i will be storing this um, r4 value in the place of 100 means in this place i will be storing 10 okay so now i know the address also this address is stored in r6 so by using this address i can access the value of 10 and we'll be able to see the result okay inside the memory since we know the address so that's why i have taken a um, register r6 to store this address and access this value okay so let's see now so next step will be store the value of r4 in r6 okay store the value of r4 where um, in r6 what r r6 has the address and where this address is pointing to uh, separate memory location in that memory location you have to store the value of r4 so uh, value of r4 will be stored in the value pointed uh, the address pointed to by r6 okay so there the uh, result will be stored and this marks the end of the program now we'll be looking how can we store the values uh, inside the array okay now for that i will be saving the program and i'll be building it after that click debug here and see here from this part we will be accessing the memory location see what memory location we choose the first here we choose this memory location to be the um, first element the first element uh, should be stored here okay so that i will be copying and pasting here and followed by a h okay and then click enter now you can access the first uh, memory location here i will be storing 1 1 and 1 1 okay so i will be storing 1 1 1 1 in the first array element see here this address is nothing but the starting point here okay i am writing this 0 here but it's actually the whole address 
so here what i stored here 1 1 1 1 so in this place 1 1 1 1 will be stored okay so next i will go to the next memory location what is the address of this 0 plus 4 so instead of 0 we have 4 followed by 7 zeros so the address will be at last here 4 plus 4 okay that will be 4 followed by 6 zeros and 4 okay so we'll be going to that memory location and storing some other values i'll be storing 2 2 2 2 okay so let's see how to do that change here 4 okay then you will go to the next memory location store here 2 2 2 2 then go to the third memory location plus 4 which is 8 click enter you will be able to access this value this we are directly storing in the memory okay after that it's c okay c here in the uh, hexadecimal 12 is um, in hexadecimal 12 is equal to c so we can't write 12 we have to write c here okay so that will uh, give me the fourth memory location right here 4444 four, 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 four. okay now we have stored four array elements first one is double one double one then double two double two then three 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 then four 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 now what we'll be doing is we'll be adding all of these by using this program and the result will be stored in this memory location see we have choose this memory location and the result will be transferred to this memory location first we'll be uh, executing this program and then we'll be going to this memory location and see if the result is there or not now what will be the result see what we have done here we are adding these four numbers so what will be the result in hexadecimal see here 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 in hexadecimal 10 is uh, denoted as a so since the, all the digits are same in every column, we will be uh, getting the answer A A A A. Okay. So after running the program, we will see if we, if we get the same answer at this memory location or not. Okay. Go to debug and click here run. Okay. Now let's go to this memory location and see if the result is there or not. Control C, Control V, and followed by a H. Okay. Now see the final result is double a double a that's the sum of the elements which is stored in the array this all uh, what you have to show in this program and let's move on to the fifth program